Hey YouTube comic community, it's Jimmy the Geek Aficionado here with my first haul video. We had some uh, time on our hands here and went down to a sh some shops down in uh, well the northern Chicago suburbs and found a few pickups. Uh, starting things off here, Miracle Man number one uh, by Alan Moore. Nice classic book. Following that, we have Showcase Presents number 80, the first appearance of the Silver Age Phantom Stranger. Another nice copy here of Adventure into Fear number 10. This is the first comic appearance of the Man-Thing. For some reason, uh, I was looking at... Uh, I was looking at the key collector app, and for some reason, uh, I caught Man Thing 14 as a as a spec buy. Uh, followed up again, didn't actually see anything. Don't know if it was my imagination or if I picked up the wrong thing, but that's I don't know. If if anybody knows anything about Man Thing 14, please add it to the comments, and we'll uh, we'll go from there. Following that, Cull the Conqueror number one, nice clean copy. Uh, definitely presents really nice. Uh, it's going to be somewhere up in the uh, in the eights nines range. Uh, had another copy of this book, Marvel Spotlight number one. Uh, not the first appearance of Red Wolf, but uh, his first in his in his own series. Uh, had another copy of this, not in as nice a condition. So we've got this one here, and then uh, we've got Marvel Premiere number forty two with Tigra. Uh, a lot of the Marvel. Creatures are heating up. Uh, a lot of speculation behind uh, what they're going to where they're going to be. Uh, in this case, I just needed this to finish out my my run of Marvel Premiere, and I like the character Tigra. So there you go. This one here was a little bit of a surprise for me. Um, found it, yes, love it. Uh, Needed it for my Green Lantern run. Noticed that it was a, a Black Hand appearance. Did not realize at the time that this was actually the first Black Hand appearance. Shame on me. Uh, but it's a, a nice presenting copy. Uh, it's mid-grade. Uh, and I got it for a great price. Here's another book that I already had. Kind of got this more as a spec. Marvel Chillers number three. First appearance of Tigra. Um, this, uh, is, uh, oh my God, what's her name? Um, something Grant, uh, not Cat Grant, obviously, um, uh, Greer Grant. And, uh, no, her first appearance actually was as the cat, uh, in the Marvel, I want to say, I think it was Marvel, giant size Marvel, Creatures, something like that. It was when she becomes Tiger. So this is her first appearance in her own series. Uh, another spec, special Marvel edition number 16, second appearance of Shang Chi. And then this is probably the best pickup that I got. Really, really great price on it. Amazing Spider-Man number 101, first appearance of Morbius. Low grade copy, gonna get it clean and pressed. Uh, and graded and we're going to flip that guy for some more books moving on from that store came to another one found a few interesting goodies and we have first off we got some spec x factor number 17 not quite sure why i picked that book up or what's special about it, I uh, don't recall off the top of my head, but uh, going to uh, add something to the comments later for that. Marvel Fanfare number 11, uh, first appearance Iron Maiden, um, who's supposed to be showing up in the new Black Widow film. All right, moving on to things that I really liked. These were up on the wall. Harley and Ivy, Love on the Lamb. Uh, Judd Winnick and Joe Chiotto, nice Chiotto cover, great Chiotto interiors, uh, especially that Batgirl, love Chiotto's Batgirl. And this is kind of the template for the new Harley Quinn uh, animated series that's running on DC Universe right now. 
super duper clean copy of Batman Adventures Mad Love. This one's getting slabbed. Should pull a 9698 somewhere in that region. Just a gorgeous copy. Going through the back issue bins, digging around, came across this. Marvel Presents Bloodstone number one, first appearance of Ulysses Bloodstone. This is the father of um, the other Bloodstone, um, the one that's set to appear in uh, one of the Marvel series. Strangers in Paradise number one, this is volume three. Love the cover, love the series, great work by Terry Moore. Uh, always wanted to have a copy. Hadn't found one in the wild. Found it, picked one up. Really good stuff. Star-Lord Special Edition. There's another one that was behind the... Uh, on the back wall. Um, this, I believe, is the first appearance of Star-Lord in a comic, not in a, uh, in a magazine format. Uh, if it's not this one, I believe it's the uh, Marvel Spotlight, but this is one of the, the definitely early appearances. Also up on the back wall, came across this, a nice little set of Dave Stevens covers. This is definitely one of my favorites. Sheena, Queen of the Jungle. Just a gorgeous Dave Stevens cover. Here's another one, uh, Seduction of the Innocent. Not quite as nice a copy. We've got some, uh, some color breaks uh, going up here with some scuffing, but still really well presented. Great Dave Stevens co classic cover. Elvira's House of Mystery number 11. Uh, I believe this is the only cover that Dave Stevens did for it, but uh, I love the character of, of Elvira. Grew up on her uh, as a young guy, and uh, this Dave Stevens cover is, is fantastic and classic uh, as well. And this is what caught my eye to begin with. This is just the piece de resistance. Planet Comics number one, Dave Stevens, uh, amazing cover. Adam Hughes used uh, this as a template for his Dirty Pear uh, cover that he did recently. Still looking for that guy. Uh, and then I'm checked out, I'm ready to go, and I just can't help myself. It's pulling to me. He's got this back there. Great price. Howard the Duck, number one. Uh, I don't know if this is Fade that we're seeing with the colors, especially with the reds, or if they just ran out of red uh, when they were doing the the, the print run. Um, I'm gonna find out though, because I'm sending this one in. Uh, it's uh, a relatively high grade. Should get somewhere uh, in the eights at least. Uh, hopefully higher, and we'll, we'll find out when it comes back. Came back to the same store again. Um, several weeks later because I saw this. Had to have it. Uh, great looking copy. Tales of Suspense number 46, first appearance of the Crimson Dynamo. Nice and classic. Uh, told him I was looking for some Ghost Rider. Uh, wanted to get some of the early ones because, you know, there's expectations of uh, Son of Satan, Damien Hellstrom, Hellstrom coming out. Um, didn't have number one, but he did have number two. Again, for a great price. So this is the first full appearance of Damien Hellstrom. And he did have another Ghost Rider number one, just not the same one. But this is uh, Ghost Rider number one, uh, I want to say volume two or three. Uh, and this is the first appearance of Danny Ketch as the Ghost Rider. Well, that's it for now. Thanks, everybody, for uh, for checking me out. Uh Want to give a special thanks to a lot of the guys in the YouTube comic community uh, that uh, kind of helped me to to want to do this. Uh, Alex the Comic Hoarder, Reggie Collects, Comic Head 84, the Comic Core Crew, uh, ETA Nick, all those guys do a wonderful job. Keep it up. Thanks for thanks for watching.